this will be quite a short video because this process is actually quite short and I want to give you time to give it a go for yourself. So hopefully you've still got the drum loop that you made in the last video. But if not, now's a great time to practice those skills again and knock one up. It's important that you use your own beat in this lesson because we're moving on now to making a track where all of the music is original, made by you. So, given that we don't have 10 years to learn to play an instrument, learn music theory, become experts with all of this technology, we're going to use a little trick that I've often used myself to get started writing chords for a song without thinking about any of that technical stuff like key signatures and functional harmony. I call it the patented Humberstone four-finger technique, but that's just me being an unfunny dad. The idea is that you take these four fingers and randomly, ooh, there they are, place them on a keyboard. You can just hit the white notes, or you can use the black notes too. And if you don't like the sound of them, then you simply take the fingers off and put them somewhere else. When you find a combination of notes that you like, then you simply write down what keys you pressed. Uh, there's a PDF below this video which you can use to write down uh, chords. I used to use it in my own teaching. It actually gets you to write down 10 chords and then pick your favourite. But for the purposes of showing you the technique, I'm just going to make mm, two chords today and altern alternate them. And instead of writing them down with good old pen and paper, I'm going to record them right here in Soundtrap. So once I've done that, it will be your turn. And then we've got another discussion after this video where you can post your tracks if you're keen to share and get some feedback or, or just to see what other people have done. So I'll start by adding a new track in Soundtrap uh, and then I'm going to choose the Pianos and Keyboards option and then I'm going to choose a sound that will work nicely with sustained chords like a rock organ or a synth pad. At the keyboard I start splatting down the four fingers until I find a sound that I like. At the computer keyboard it's just the same thing, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard or a synth like I do, but you've got to remember that you've got all four rows of computer keys that your fingers can land on. By the way, if the keyboard in Soundtrap sounds too high or, or too low, use the octave arrows to move the range up or down. Once you've found a chord you like, hit record and just hold it for a bar, or if you're feeling adventurous, you could play it a few times in a rhythm. I'm going to shorten the region of that recording by holding my mouse over the bottom right-hand corner of it and dragging it left so it fits exactly into bar one. Then I'll drag the playback line to the start of bar two so I'm ready to record the second chord. I'm making sure that cycle mode is off, by the way. Before I listen to those bars together, I'm going to highlight them and copy and paste them to repeat them a few times. I could also quantize the recordings as we learned to do in the last video if I wanted to, but I don't think that they're pretty much okay. They're, they're in time enough. Let's have a listen. You can see that even with just two chords you can make a nice little backing track. So now it's over to you. See what you can come up with and post your song on the following discussion board. Once you've posted that will reveal any other posts so you can check out your peers work too.